certainly it certainly uh, sets the stage for the economic discussion that's gonna that's gonna take place today I want to welcome our viewers in the United States uh, and around the world they're watching us right now I think it's fair to say uh, Anderson and Campbell that the whole world is watching to see what's going on because the whole world's uh, markets right now are in trouble and that's going to be the the primary focus of tonight's debate. It is domestic issues, and you can pretty much bet they're going to spend almost all of tonight about the uh, on the economy. But this plays off nicely at the point that you, Jeff Tubin, were making right before we went to the break. You had said it almost doesn't matter what John McCain does because uh, so many things are working against him, one of them being the economy. But I saw a number of people here shaking their heads and saying, no, it's not just about the economy, David. Well, it, it is about the economy, but it depends on what it does with it. And uh, he did present an economic plan yesterday, which was a step forward. At least he did it before the debate instead John of in McCain. the debate. Yes, John McCain. Uh, <laughs> you know, so last time he came up with this proposal that nobody understood, and within two days was the subject of ridicule by a lot of economists. Uh, so this time he did lay the groundwork for it. But I want to go back to because I think he's got an opening that he has not used, and it was something Bill Bennett and Alex Castellanos raised earlier, and that is in the Congress. Nancy Pelosi and other Democrats now are saying that right after the election they want to take a stimulus package that's been listed as $150 billion and take it up to $300 billion. Now, is Barack Obama going to go along with that? That adds a lot to the deficit. Is that a smart thing to do? It seems to me those are the kind of questions, and I think both Bill and Alex are right about that. That's the opening he has, not about Bill Ayers. I mean, nobody cares about Bill Ayers. What they care about is what this market is happening, what's happening in this market, and what's happening to the U.S. federal budget deficits. Candy, you've been covering the Obama campaign. We've been talking all tonight primarily about John McCain. Um, how confident is Obama feeling going into this? Th look, they're feeling pr pretty confident because they, his, his advisors believe that those first two debates, he met that threshold and then some. Because people have to be able to look at the TV screen and say, oh, I, I can see him as president. I can imagine Barack Obama in the Oval Office. So that was a, that was a, a leap for them, you know, and they feel that once he did that. I, I will say for John McCain that there's also something there. It is possible to get under Barack Obama's skin. I think we saw uh, Hillary Clinton do that. I mean, he needs not just to put in a good performance, but there are, there are ways to kind of get at him that he's been unable to do. But uh, Barack Obama has not, yeah. No, he's really got this down to a science. It's very interesting that you said that because I was talking to one of um, McCain's advisors who has been working with him on debate prep, and they said that they were working on exactly that candy, that, to, that he needs to not just sort of go ahead and give his talking points, but listen to what Obama is saying and react to Obama. Right. So that looking the, at Obama. Well, <laughs> it is what well, there, but, idea. but regardless of whether he, where he looks, but the idea that he, that that's the way to get a moment. We're, we've all been talking about the fact that we haven't had a moment in these debates. That's one way to do it. Another thing that you could do is get under his skin. That they are both making um, it, those those moments where Hillary Clinton did seem to get a, 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 under Barack Obama's skin did happen in, in debates previously. Very, How very do you, rare. well, very rare, but Bill Bennett, how would you try to create one of those moments? Well, I would start by looking right at him and asking him some tough questions about his alliances in the past and the future, and just how much are you going to spend and how much are you going to tax, and, you know, what, what are you going to do to uh, keep this economy from uh, going in the tank? Uh, what, what, what spending programs will you eliminate? But I think it's fair to say, and, and Jeff uh, remarked on it and, and others, this this race was pretty close until this economic economy thing happened. I mean, it just it's a ten thousand pound weight. And the question is, why is you know in some ways why is John McCain still standing? It was my boss, my mentor, Ronald Reagan, who said, you know, are you better off than you were four years ago? If you look at the economy, it doesn't look so good. You look for your metaphors. You know, what's the right metaphor in sports? We say, you know, put him away while you can. He hasn't put him away yet. I know they're feeling pretty confident. But he hasn't been put away yet. This guy has a way of kind of keep staying afloat, John McCain. He stays alive. He's a fighter. He likes, uh, he likes to uh, prevail. So we shall see. But, uh, you know, the odds are very, are very tough. The circumstances are very tough. He's got to go, back to what I was saying, the Navy Flyer's got to try to get under his skin. He's got to confront him. He's got to look him in the eye and say, just, just why should we give you the reins well, in this country? Well, Paul, to, to Alex and, and Bill's earlier point, which, which David also mentioned, I mean, how does Barack Obama uh, one of the, face that, the, the criticism that, um, that he really hasn't challenged members of his own party? And so if he is confronted with the idea of, well, do, are we giving a blank check to, to Democrats if they have the House and the Senate and 
a, a Democrat in the White House? How, does he need to criticize Democrats? Well, first, he needs to fall back on the reality, which is the parties are not viewed equally among uh, Americans today. The New York Times poll today says the Democratic Party has a 52% approval rating, the Republican Party a 37% approval rating. I can't remember the gap being that high. And then I would take it off of personalities and ideology and just say, if what you're saying is we will get right to work to jumpstart this economy, uh, unlike Senator McCain who admitted he doesn't know anything about the economy, we'll get right to work on jobs, baby jobs, as Hillary Clinton said the other day. We will get right to work to create green jobs. We'll get right to work to get us off of this foreign oil. Just go to what the Democratic agenda is. It'll be fine. They don't like the label. Democrat. Well, if, but, 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 but is that, that, that spending label, is that fair? I mean, the Republicans I mean, have created right. bigger government than we ever had before. Well, then the, the argument can be, hey, you think it's bad now? It can get worse. They've not just spent money, they've also borrowed yeah. without thinking about the future. That's what makes this so hard on and the Republicans. And that's exactly what John McCain needs to go after Barack Obama about, about his own spending plan, a trillion dollars in government spending, and he claims that he's not going uh, to And then we go the back deficit. to the tax and cuts. And he also has to get those tax cuts. Same Obama America. says 95% tax, 95% of Americans will get a tax cut. Well, 40% of Americans don't even pay federal income taxes. What conservatives want to see John McCain do tonight is articulate his plan, reach out to middle class voters, all those swing voters and independents, and say, this is what I'm going to do for you, and they want him to unmask Barack Obama and say, he talks a good game, but this is what he really has in store. And he's not conservative. His problem, the fact of the matter is, he cannot get independent voters. He get, can't get those folks in the middle. That's the problem. Look, he's got conservatives. They're not going to vote for Barack Obama. He has to deal with the people who is who in an unsure category, and that's where he has failed because he got away from the John right. McCain brain. Hold, hold it right there. We, we want to throw it to Wolf for a second. We will have plenty more time. Well, actually, not that much more. About 20 more minutes to the start of the debate, Wolf. All right, Campbell, thanks very much. And we're going to go back out to Ohio uh, very soon and check in with Soledad O'Brien. She's got a focus group of uh, persuadable voters, uh, Democrats, Republicans, independents, but they're saying they're still undecided. We'll check in with them. And even as we check in with them, uh, the markets in Asia, which are now reopened, the Nikkei index now down 10%, 10% only within the past uh, few minutes that the markets in Asia have reopened. We're watching this, this on a horrible day that, as far as the markets are concerned here in the United States as well. And this sets the stage for tonight's third and final presidential debate. Our coverage from the CNN Election Center continues right after this.